man. All right. All right. So stay tuned for that update as soon as I send it out. Yeah. You're gonna know, man. You're gonna know. Oh man. <laughs> Woo! All right. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks for the update. All right. Take care, bro. Take care, bro. Bye. So that's late. Uh, it's Tigran from our licensing department. So we're competing with the most amount of licensed agents at the beginning of the year. See, that's what I was talking about. Everybody needs a leader's bulletin, man, because it makes us drive, makes us, it makes us focus. The first one to 25 gets ownership again in the company. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's ownership, man. Uh, I want to be able to take pride and say we're the first owners again of 2017. We're the first owners of last year. I want to be able to say back to back here, we're the first owners. So the biggest question I've been getting from all across the country is a topic that I'm going to be talking about tonight. We sacrifice today to have a better future for our children, for our family. Well, the same thing goes too with the team that you build, recruit, and mentor, right? If you're investing this time on Sunday nights, it's because you're saying, you're making a, a bold statement, you put a flag in the ground and say, listen, I'm investing Sunday nights because I want to get better at my craft. Be confident with your decision to go in business and why you're doing it. If you're not confident about PHP yet, be confident and say, listen, man, I'm pissed off because I'm $15,000 of credit card debt. I'm ticked off that I'm getting, getting um, looked over for a promotion. I'm getting ticked off that I'm working 60 hours a week even though I get paid for 40 and nobody's recognized me, nobody's promoted me, and the owner's son or my boss's son or his relative just came in, they got him a management position, he's only been there for a week and I've been humping this thing for six years. And here it is, this is your chance, this is your shot to be confident about your decision to go in business and change your family's lives and financial direction forever. And I'm saying this because she and I came here 25 months ago. Broke is a stinking joke. We came over here, no, no, nobody was giving us nothing. Fourth thing, you gotta be relentless. I think Orla likes that one, right? You gotta be relentless. Kevin's shaking his, he's not in his head. Yeah, you gotta be relentless. Financial, fanatical prospectors have a high need for achievement. Do you have a high need for achievement? If you're, if you're not getting to the point where your friends and family members are saying, stop posting stuff about your business. I'm sick of it already. It's all about business, business, business. Listen, that means you haven't been doing it enough. That, that means you've been settling for average and ordinary. That means you've been lending an ear to doubt, disbelief, and normal. And people are gonna start telling you, can't you just like chill out and be normal? What is that supposed to mean? The last time I checked, normal people are normally broke. Phone died, man. What's up, man? Uh, wow, we got a lot of people licensed this week. All right, let's get rolling. Hi. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's get started. We're, we're doing some big things in media. Uh, this week, we're, we finalized a, a viral video, so we hope it goes viral. But it's um, it, we feel it's on the uh, life of an entrepreneur level. You guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah. when that goes viral, we'll see. All, all I gotta say is we put a lot of work into it, and um, it, uh, it's gonna capture a lot of people's attention. I hope uh, can definitely capture my attention. Um, I only gave one. Um, even my sweetheart he hasn't even seen it. Uh, my other sweetheart has. Thank you. Oh God. That'd be Richard Love. <laughs> <laughs> More 
often than not, I hear the awesome stuff. Hey, awesome stuff, awesome stuff, yeah. Man, it was really good, you know? So, what's the next What's the next step? Hey, the number one office in the country, Oldbrook, has X amount of people at PHP. So, so th these are, these are MD. So we got you know Richard Love, you know 21 year Army veteran. Uh, this is Rudy and Rosie Ortiz. Um, he and I knew each other through church and um, a men's ministry. I met, I met him through. They're all, they're all six figure earners. Javi, uh, literally worked right across the street in that building as a senior accountant for a major healthcare provider. Eventually left that. They're running their own office now in Oak Park. Lizette was a former daycare provider for JoJo. Yes. And then when she saw Sheena leave Stryker Medical and started working with me full time in business, I'm like, what are you doing? Well, I'll make a long story short, Sheena hosts a Women Wine and Wells event, attracts Lizette to the business. And Lizette at that time, she's a single mom. And because she's running a business, she met Javier. And I see you know, they're together running their office and building a life together. Chris, uh, Chris and Evelyn Richardson, they knew me from Trans America. And uh, they remember me speaking on stage. And um, I remember one time I was teaching people phones. He calls me up, major faith-based couple out in San Diego. He calls me up, hey, um, how, how are things at PHP agency? I think things are doing great. He says, man, listen, um, I'm just frustrated over here the last four or five years. And with him coming over here, he's done more with us here in a year than had in five years at Trans America. If you become an MD with inside the hierarchy, then we make money. So why, why does that help you out? It helps you out in your recruiting. So you say, you know, uh, uh, when you come into an MSM hierarchy and part of PHP agency, every one of our marketing directors on the wall are $100,000 earners. Everybody on the wall is $250,000 earners. This side of the wall, quarter million dollars and above. Field training, baby, go get people started. Get them going with my very masculine bag. All right, Tim. Sounds great, bro. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll wait on those designs and we'll go from there. Yep, I'll send you those uh, as soon as I can get them. Cool. All right, talk to you, man. All right, take, okay, take care, bye-bye. I'm excited about that, man. Fired up. Let's, let's get some food. Let's go downstairs to Tuscany. Mm -hmm. They're real people working there, making real money, helping help make real transformation. What's up, Ty? Trivial. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you need it. Are we done? Are we out of chairs? Yes. Crazy, man. Full house, brother. Oh, wow. So my whole entrepreneurial career, um, never got disciplined to rock the phones and to uh, improve that skill set. And most entrepreneurs don't. Yeah. Well, listen, Nate. I, I don't want to. I don't want to take up too much of time. But listen, the reason for my call is I'm the co-owner of PHP Agency, and your cousin is actually taking an internship training associate position here at our firm. And I know you're in the industry already with American Family. Am I right in saying that? When Patrick came out here, he says, "Hey, man, well, so what do you guys do for phones?" I'm like, "What phones?" Are we don't do the phones. He's like, "What?" So there's a lot of things that he identified in our business that had a lot of leaks. He's like. So what, what is it, Patrick? I know it's bad. So no, 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 no. You're gonna go into uncharted territory, bro. So you thought you got to somewhere in your business? You're gonna go into uncharted territory. And next thing you know, we, there we are. It's uncharted territory. Nobody's done what we've done. So Wednesday, 10 a.m. I look, I look forward to chatting with you then. Okay. Okay, Al. Okay, I feel appreciated. Nice meeting you, Al. Nice connecting with you, Tammy. Okay, thank you, man. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Okay, bye, -bye.
Right? So there's three, three general people you're gonna run into. Okay? Three general people you're gonna run into. Number one, they know you go in business and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you can't leave your business. So number one, they support you. Okay? They support you and they say, man, I'm glad you're in business. I'm glad you're rocking and rolling. Uh, what can I do to help? What can I do to show up? Second person you run into. Somewhat skeptical, but they say, you go first. Yeah. 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 Skeptical, but you go first. Says, so, you know what? It sounds good, but I think send me some information. By the way, it's the ultimate blow up, yeah. right? Uh, but they're somewhat interested. But you go first because I've heard something like this before, which is nothing like anything I've seen before. I mean, they're just judging things, and they and they and they they, they judge you, uh, but yet they're not outward saying no. They violently oppose you. <laughs> Not just oppose you, but violently oppose you. This is a scam, this is a pyramid, this is one of those things, blah, 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 blah. And they might not do that for a week, they might not do it for a month, they might do it, like for me, 14 years. Really? And, and you've got to continue proving them wrong. And you keep wearing that chip on your shoulder, you keep winning, you keep succeeding, you keep getting promoted, you keep going after them. And here's the reality. Your relatives is who shares your DNA. Right? Your cousin, your mom, your dad, right? You share your DNA with them. But your family is who believes in you. 